Hey YouTube, it's Joanne here. And today's video that I'm bringing you is a part one of a two-part video where I am starting to go through and I'm doing a cleaning, reorganizing, decluttering of my refrigerator. So stay tuned. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, I recorded it over the weekend, I recorded it Saturday, I'm going to show you part one where I declutter the all the crap that's on top of my refrigerator, right? I don't know about you guys, but I am famous for just tossing shit on top of my refrigerator and forgetting about it. I found a couple of things that I have been looking for up there. And, and then I, and then I go and I, I organize those things. I find new places for those items in my house. And I also clean out my freezer part of my refrigerator. So let's get to it. So the first part of this we're going to tackle is we're going to tackle the top because I got a lot of junk up here on top of my fridge. In addition to the handles needing cleaning, they're all dirty. And then we have, here is the before shots. We have so much stuff that needs to be gone through. Expiration dates. And we're gonna clean out this whole thing. And then on the freezer side, we have, this is what we got going on on the freezer side. Again, just like piles of stuff that really need to be sorted out. This is like the leaning tower of frozen food. And then we have the ice maker, which needs to be defrosted. We do have a little bit of an issue with our, um, with our ice maker, which that's why we always have to keep it cleared out. So yeah, that is what I'm working on today. So here we go. I've been looking for this. This disappeared with my Christmas decorations and this is my silver uh, paper towel holder. So yes, it always pays when you clean. It always pays when you clean. Okay, we still have a few things. Plant steaks, a bat tray. Yeah, and now we gotta clean this up. And this is where I've put all the stuff that came. This was just on top of my fridge. Yep, so now we're going to go through this stuff, find new homes for them. In addition to having a problem with bags and totes, I also have a problem with drink bottles. So I am going to downsize my drink box, my drink containers. Ooh, here's the top to my a shoe mug. See, I'm finding everything here. This is great. So the cleaner that I like to use is I have, people were asking me in one of my other videos, is I have this, it's called Thieves Cleaner, and it is made with Thieves Oil from the Young Living Company, and the main ingredients are, as far as the oils, is Thieves Oil, Clove, lemon peel, uh, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, rosemary, and that's pretty much about it. And this stuff smells amazing. So what I do is I, there is a dilution factor depending on what you, what you want to clean. And I am going to use one part cleaner to 30 parts water. I've already done that and I've put this in one of my Dollar Tree spray bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray up top here. 
because this has got a lot of grime. So I'm going to let this kind of sit a while and then I will come back and wipe it off. In the meantime, I just want to check. You know how people were asking what exactly you keep in these upper cupboards? I pretty much, what's this? I can throw these out. I pretty much have nothing <laughs> except for I have my grill can, my grill set that goes to my Gen Air oven that does not work. So what I think I'm going to put up in here is I'm going to put those sprays because I don't use them as often. I think I'm going to put those inside the cupboard so that I don't have to look at them on a daily basis. Let's see. I'm going to get out one of my nice cleaning rags that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to get out my... You guys probably can't see these. My gloves. This is how I, these are, I've been using these to keep my nails looking so amazing. So we're going to throw some gloves on. Cover the Fitbit. Because I'm, I'm burning calories as, as well as when I'm doing this cleaning, guys. Burning calories while I'm doing the cleaning. So here we go. See how easily that the grime comes up with that thieves cleaning? And it smells so good. All right, I can't reach over there. Dust bunnies up here. irritate the shit out of me. I think it fell apart. That's why it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay down. Because I'm missing a screw right here. Mission one accomplished. Yay! Alright, so this is the stuff we have to go through. So these things I'm gonna put up at that top cover as I talked about. The ant and roach killers. This is my watering can. I use this for my watering inside the house. This just needs to be cleaned off a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna let that sit a minute. Okay, so we have a lot of gardening stuff that I'm gonna put behind us because I have some plants I want to take care of and plant. So we have these items are all gonna go back here because they're gonna have a new home. Here is my ant baits that I'm going to need only, not yet. I gotta, I already have some traps out. That's gonna go outside. I think this one's dead. Okay. Now this, I gotta talk about this. This is my little clock that does not have a battery in it. I'm not even sure I really like it anymore. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. What do you think? Should I keep the clock? It just really doesn't match the kitchen. I'm going to put it up there for now, but let me know in the comments below if I should get rid of this or not. I'm going to clean it off. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of spray because all the tops of all the stuff all has a little bit of uh, grease on it. This has been sitting long enough, so I'm going to wipe this down. Actually, this is going to go, I'm going to soak this into my tub. This is, this, is, this is not even sticky anymore. I'm going to throw this out. Now we're getting down to our containers. We'll talk about that one later. This is still soaking. This is kind of, I don't even know if I like this one or not. So let's line these all up. This one I use a lot. This is Tardis Blue. I use this one a lot for, for softball. I like that one. These, I may get rid of all of these because I don't really use these as much as I thought I was going to, but I wanted to show you guys, I got, I got the bottoms in this other room. Hold on. These containers are uh, Stay Fit, 
stay fit, uh, that easy freeze. So this has like a gel in it and it, you keep it, put it in the freezer. And then you, this is made for the like shaker drinks. So smoothies, so you put the smoothie in there and it has like a, this top part. You can close it, you can open it as far as the holes. So what happens is you screw this on. And I, I got, the reason why I got four of them, and then you pop this on. Use this to shake it, and then you drink out of it. So the reason why I got four of these guys was for one of each of us, and nobody uses them. But I can't find the black one. So I have the blue. Nothing's wrong with them. We really just don't use them. So I think these are going in the donate pile. I think these are going in the donate pile. And we're missing the black one. So I'm going to come cleaning off the top of this. Okay. There we go. These will be donated. These are one of my old bags. I stick these in here to be donated. This I like. Here is a rag. This goes with my SU cup. This is a tin I kept for no particular reason. It's cute. I'm getting rid of it. I don't need garbage. And I don't really like this one either. It's one of those Brita things. Yeah, I don't even like that one. So I have these two, which I think I'm going to put in a different place. I'm not going to put up above. But what I am going to put up above is we use these when we go downstairs, our flashlights. So I'm going to put those in here along with my suntan lotions and my um, stuff for outside. I'm going to put them in here for now. These are going to go in a different place. Same thing with this. This is going to go down in the Tupperware cover. And I think that battery is dead. And this is a Dollar Tree Actually, I don't know if it was Dollar Tree or not, but I think his mom got it and it had a chip in it. But we're gonna we're gonna probably fill this up and we'll hang this out in the in the backyard. So. Okay, guys. So I've worked really hard. Here is the after for my freezer. I put all of my. We have a lot of ice packs, soft ice packs here. I have a bag for my. Um, butter. I like to use that for baking. I have some just ice packs and uh, ice packs and stuff here. These are just these are just ball shaped ice cubes for my husband's my husband's drinks. This is also some type of ice cubes for him. I have an open thing here. Down here I have all of my frozen, mostly vegetables. I'm going to do make a list so I know exactly what's in my freezer before I go shopping. I have some, uh, what are these, uh, taquitos. Here's some frozen, uh, some frozen juice that I did that I'm gonna start using that up. So I actually pulled some out to make a juice for me this afternoon. I have some gluten-free breakfast. I have a Morning Star two black bean I love these black bean hamburgers and then underneath I just have there's just strawberries and frozen organic mangoes I have this is all of our gluten-free bread that we always keep frozen and there's different kinds there's rye there's regular there's some bagel underneath is just simply 
like little leftover peaches, little leftover pieces of chicken and pork and stuff that we can pull out and cut up and put in a salad. And then up here, we just have some fit and active uh, Southwest. These are from Aldi's. Um, some stuffed sandwiches. We have, we love hash browns, so we have a big thing of the hash browns. And so that's it. That's all I have in my freezer side. So I think that came out pretty, pretty clean. I still have to do the other side handle. You can see all the grime here. I still need to get off, but I cleaned this one. I got to come up with a way to try to bleach this a little bit whiter because for some reason over the age of this refrigerator, this has tainted. Uh, you try scrubbing this. This isn't like dirty. It's just it, the color changed. And so, and then the top looks like this. So I thought that was a lot, a lot more eye appealing than the mess that was up there before. I am kind of liking the clock up there, so I may just keep it up there. Freezer is done for today. Next, I got to work on the refrigerator side, and but I'm going to take a little quick break from that. Uh, watch some YouTube videos, and then I'll get back to work. My husband. I'll edit it out. I'm just I'm, I'm videoing. Doing a cleaning video. Oh, hallelujah! Cleaning. I'm cleaning. You look in those louder rooms. <laughs> you don't put that in there though. I'm not showing myself here. 